Hi guys, well I'm back. So my other page, I don't know what the fuck is going on with that other page, but we have a little thing that we need a little talk about before we get into this reading. Alright, so let me go get a couple more things and then we can get right to it. Okay. So hold up for the body. Put tomorrow stars up around me Put tomorrow stars around me Stars without me, I cannot bear to see If the sun comes out from your eyes Or if I feel like it to me How much will I die, wouldn't you cry? If you know if the day been today Why you take so many times what you wanna get to say How much if you love me? How much if I loved you? And every single time you think of me, you are missing too If you know tomorrow without me Please to try to understand If you know place, it's already in the head of us If you know what the love behind All I do is a dearly love If it's tomorrow, just be free without me Tomorrow when you start with loving without me If you know, if you turn and I walk away If I fall to my eyes, if I run my life if I thought, if I would die, how much if you live before you can get to you? If you know it's impossible to leave you, thought it was all yesterday. One thing is, it's a bad enough if I love you. We shall, if you know what to realize yesterday. Yes, it was I'm gonna say goodbye, kiss you, baby. You stop tomorrow with a spark without me. In a place of if you don't, if you don't think I miss you coming tomorrow. If you thought we fight it, my heart will fail in the sorrow. When I would walk through its heaven gates, I would fall so much at home. When you done coming down, smiling at me, how God is the greatest song. God said eternally, if you promise you that today on the earth is a past, if you know a new, it's the song. If you know what to do, you know, forgive me. If you know when you're free, if you take it, it's your hand. My life with me is to tell tomorrow. Start it tomorrow if you don't fall apart. If you know, think of me. If you know what your heart, when you fall, it decides. If you leave me, when you fall without me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're turning it tomorrow, shoot. Without your loyalty, so true, so true. Come without me, come without me, come without me, come without me. Yeah, come without me, come me. Hey guys, welcome to Good Morning, Good Rising. Welcome to the Gucci Carter Show, the Spiritual Empress of Love. I need y'all to tune in here with Gucci Carter. We're gonna talk about Wild and Out. We're gonna talk about all types of stuff today. So. Let me get to the point. When I'm doing a reading, don't interrupt the readings, okay? Okay, there's another thing. If y'all don't like what you hear, then get the fuck off the page. So, as it says, I only tell the truth, but only telling y'all the truth to help me God. So, my protector is my brother Michael, the Archangel, Megatron, and the Holy Spirit, and the Most High. His name is Oshawa. Which did y'all call Lord, God, or Jesus? So, um, so tune in. If the story resonates with you, let it resonate. If it don't resonate with you, then don't put your input in it. So, we got Sarah doing, and we got a message. We got to get out into the destruction danger deck. Because guess what? Y'all see? It got school. 
So, um, so tune in. I still got to get up and still purpose and give God's message. That is my birthright. So, he's with me, if y'all see. Okay? Now, good morning, Frame Rising. Today is a good day. Today, we're interjecting, bringing ourselves to what we are today. Don't never get it twisted. Okay? We already cleansed our cars. We already did everything that we need to do. So, let's get started. The message. Father, are you ready to do this thing? All right. There is a man in a shirt, according to me. You have a white tee on, my brother. Just stare. But stare enough. All right? We watching you too. Now, how many times I gotta tell y'all? It's how many times, oh God, you just really doing a date with today. I know that, I know. We gonna get it out. So, I know a lot of people that dislike me, you scared of me. Cause people thinking I'm out here just to blackmail and expose people. No, that's not my duty. My duty is to get the words out, but truthfully, okay? My intuition is always right. Remember that, I'm very highly protected. So, I'm gonna let y'all know one thing about me. Let me introduce myself once again. My name is Gucci Carter, which dad in the spiritual world they call me Lala, okay? Which dad is Keech. Okay, Keech is my new name, all right? Keech, Gucci Carter is who I am, okay? Nobody can take that from me. But I'm very high ranked in the spiritual world. I like the unknown, I'm interesting. That's why I'm here, because I'm unknown. People don't know me. And by the way, Devon Masculine, I know you've been watching me. You know, you know, you you know what I wore last night to while and out. It's okay. But I'm sorry that you found out that way. Hmm. But I'm not really I don't care, okay? I don't. I do what the fuck I wanna do. That's just me. So today message we gonna give out. God, you ready to get this message out? Because it seems like the closer we get, the closer we, me and God get, the closer, closer that I get to people, the closer y'all wake up to see what you really are inside. But see, a lot of people are jealous because God chose me. He didn't choose y'all. Because the thing about it, y'all really want something that's inside of me, but you can't. But y'all, y'all even I, because it's me. Yes, it's me. I was born for this. That's what y'all don't understand. This is my birthright. And my ancestors will tell you that this is my motherfucking birthright, okay? Y'all just gonna have to accept it the way it is. Sorry that I glow the fuck up. I love my enlightenment. So, let's get started. So, let's... This keeps sticking out. We're gonna go with the first card. Three of clubs means three of swords. Somebody got a broken heart between this situation. So for you to have a broken heart, why to have a broken heart when you know that now I've been through something like this before, and let me explain this. When you have a broken heart, sometimes it hurts, cried out. Understand what happened in the solution where you got a broken heart. You're telling secrets. I didn't have to tell the secret. I told my baby father straight up who was texting me. He didn't care. Like, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. Sorry, he didn't care. Okay, let's fuck. A joker. You a joker, bro. You were joking about something.
You try to be a joker, right? You try to be a joker, right? All right, let me tell you this. Having a broken heart and joking about your feelings is not cool. It's not cool at all. Having love in your mind is a peace of mind. Having love in your mind is a peace of mind. Laughing at your enemies is to love them, but keep them close. Okay. I was telling y'all the truth. The ace. You understand? So when y'all see the dark coming out, that means God is walking away, but he's also coming back in to confirmation me. Because he's telling me on something at one end. And what y'all don't understand, okay? I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you the truth. It's there's there's hidden truth. There's there's am I right, Father? Okay, you're watching me, but I see you. Okay, I want you to watch some. A broken hearted, a broken heart is a joker. Okay. Having peace in mind is a peace of mind. Laugh at your enemies to love them, keep them close. But you're telling them the truth, but it's hidden. Hmm. Hidden. You hardly, but, okay, it says, you hardly. You hardly have a team ego, but love will never be your pride. Okay? Okay? This tells me something. Stay positive in your life and be happy. Okay? Stand still. Go ahead, Father. Okay. Five of clubs, that means five of swords. Five of clubs is five of swords. Now, you're, you're hiding the truth about something, my brother. And that's what I'm going with my intuition. My intuition is always right. I read the energies very well. And your energy is really fucked up right now. You don't know what to say. But this is the thing, you put me on block for what? Oh, you think that I lied to you? Oh, did you remember May 5th that you lied to me saying that you wasn't with your wife, but she was with your wife? Oh, oh okay. That's a real karmic move right there. See, that's why I don't get about people that spirituality, they think you're a joke. I think that I'm a serious person when it comes to spirituality. I don't play no games. But you watch me though. But how you gonna get mad at me because I had family night out with my family. And you get mad about what? It was just only us there at Ball Down. It was way more than a whole lot of people there. That motherfucker was packed. So yeah, yeah, I know you've been watching. So watch me. So, and now I got all your texts. I surely did get in reach and now one of your texts. But this is why I don't get, hold on, God, if we went on the night of love, the night loves you, the night loves you, and 10 of Pentacles. Now, you had came to me and said, what? You would die single. Is that what you said? You would die single. And you mistakenly lied to me. I don't get it. When it comes to, I, I mean, to me, I just don't give a fuck about what other people think about me or give a fuck how the way you feel. Because 
when I felt what I felt from you, that complete, completely almost destroyed me. It almost completely destroyed me. And the simple fact that you have all this, but you're hiding the truth. But you're telling everybody that you, you hate me, you dislike me, but you all up on my phone texting me day in, day out. I don't get that. And another thing, when God comes into a moment in relationships, it's either you go with God or if you don't slap him in his face. So, yeah, we been separated for a little while. Yeah, we had. But you got mad because I was with my man. You fucking right. And I'm not going to hide it behind anybody. You should have been knowing that if you've been watching me. You should know all that shit. So what does it bother to you when you can go out and be a hoe? And fuck with all these other girls. But when it come to me, the realest one that you had on the team. I completely walked away. Don't need to mean to bring up the past or whatever. But it is what it is. And the thing about it is, I'm not putting no titles on nobody. That's where a lot of people get it twisted. I don't put a title on you. You don't put a title on me. You just put titles on hoes. And I'm not neither one of them, period. The, the last thing I noticed is, I know. Oh, yeah, you watching, though. You like this. Let me show y'all. This is how it is. This is how exactly you watching me. So you don't think this is your hands right now? Because I know they are. You like this. Right? But you fell to realize that like, we had that defining contract with God. Now, you over and said that you wanted to do this. We had a defining contract which that God put it together himself to choose it. I just letting you know, I don't have authority. Whatever God has for me or you, I have to watch the red flags, okay? See, my intuition, because I feel like if you're watching and you like, damn, you want this, but how you want this when you, I don't wait for people. What the fuck I need to wait for you for? Want you to be a grown ass man. Stop being this little what you wanna call. Stop being be a grown ass man. Skip your little rich ass over here and do what you gotta do. But you ain't trying to do with none of that. I built my own legacy. And nobody built this for me. You did. You didn't pay no part of none of this. I did. I used all my money for this shit. And I get to go trips. I get to go out of town. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. Freely. Freely to my, my will. My will. His will. Everything. I have free of mind, free of soul. I have a free will. I don't have no stress. I ain't got to work. Because I just don't give a fuck. And why I don't give a fuck? Because I got tired of doing my work to people that didn't understand me. My work. Or my values. Or my life. And then... Ever since I've been doing tarot and, and getting more, more intuitive to y'all people. Everybody want to bag down, whoa, Gucci. But y'all got to put my respect on nine, period. I mean, I know everything which y'all did, period. Like, there's no hiding the truth. 
There is only way. What comes in the dark will always come to the light. Remember that. I have been in the dark too long. I've been to hell. And I'm out of hell. Okay? I'm not going back. Because if I go back, I'm killing a lot of motherfucking people. You understand? So, I'm a dangerous person to be around. Okay? Because once I'm quiet, bitch, run. That's all I think I got to say. Run. Because inside of me, that beast in me is under control. Under control. I mean, I don't get mad. Like, people need to understand I'm a down to earth female. But people make it seem like I'm mad, and I'm really not mad. I just be like, you irritate me. You annoying. And I look at you crazy. And then there be some people be like, why should I be so sarcastic? Everybody really think I'm bitter. Everybody thinks saying I'm selfish. Everybody saying that I'm weird. Everybody keep telling me that I'm really just really weird. I like to be weird. It's really cool to be real. So check this. Don't worry. Keep yourself busy. Don't worry. Keep yourself busy. So you block me. You block me. But I'm cool with it. Because guess what? I still got my other nigga. Still. We, we, I, I don't have to be. I don't have to have security around me. All, only all the security that I got. It's God's security. We stand together as one. Power. And I ain't saying that I'm the Holy Spirit. I'm an earth angel. I'm an impact earth angel. You've been having sleepless nights. A lot of people have been having a lot of sleepless nights, guys. Okay. But... But you, but you looking straight at me, right? You looking straight at me, though. So you rather look at me but not say nothing to me. But you looking straight at me, though. Mm -hmm. I know, Pop. You looking straight at me, though. Like, imagine, just imagine my ancestors loving me and they have just put it like this my ancestors have brought me through a lot wish that number is 1111 444 the ancestors is in the building moving better with people and peace and better lives Okay. Now. <laughs> the Empress is going to tell the truth the whole time. Look. He even says the Empress has been telling the truth the whole time that it's God's been uh, the whole time where God is the truth. And that's the ass. I've been telling y'all the truth the whole time. You need to heal your heart and people to help you. That's what I'm working on. Your children is coming home. Four hearts, that means it's healing. Nobody can never take, never take a part of me, mama bear. Me and my kids are like this, okay? That's one thing that we need to get across. Me and my children are like this. Powering off. Okay? We're not, we're not this, this mother. No, me and my kids are like this, and we're going to stay like this. I, I'm all in for my kids. 
we're like this and we gonna stay like that, period. I seen one of my kids, me and my kids are like this, period. Angel number 12, 12, 10, 10, on the clock, 8, 8, 9, 9. All right. I'm telling y'all the truth. Is that it, Father? Anything else you need to come out the danger stick? Good. Okay. God said that was it on that message. Alright, so. Let's get to Tarot. Popping out this card. This is like my favorite card to use right here. Page of Swords. We see clearly. Everybody, we we look. I see clearly. I see clearly around all of the bullshit. Okay. I see clearly where you want it. You got what you wanted. Like I tell people, you see clear, but. I want you to notice that sword is always going to come up. But God see clearly over a lot of things in this life. Okay? And, and you know, a lot of people ask me, why did I do tarot? Because I just knew something about tarot and me. This is my passion. And I don't expose people. I just tell people the truth. You know, I'm not always, I'm, but me, I'm honest. I'm not, I'm not perfect. Like I said, it was a broken heart. Three of swords. And then you got the two of wands. The two of wands is holding what's in your hands, the world in your hand. And the thing about it, you cannot recline yourself to do what you say that you're going to do, but you end up trying to trigger somebody to still have a broken heart. So how you going to see clearly you saying, you telling everybody I broke your heart, but I didn't break your heart. I walked away from you, from your situations. It's a new beginning, new life. I'm not going to sit up here, continue waiting on something that does not exist to my soul, that does not exist to me as a person. And it goes for me or you, or it goes for the people. You can't keep dwelling on breaking people's hearts and then expecting them to come back into your life and continue keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, when you gonna make the motherfucking move? Ain't no person gonna sit up here and keep waiting year after year, year after year, months after months, week, days after days. No, people are not gonna wait for that. You only got one fucking life to live, enjoy that shit. One fucking life. You think that I'm going to wait another 10 years for your punk ass to walk up to me and tell me, oh, I'm ready. How long is it going to take? No, I moved on. That's what y'all need to get. You still married. The hyphen upright. God seen it. You're hyphen too. So if you're going to combine two hyphens, two earth angels together, and one of the earth angels disobey God and slap God in the face after he gave you plenty of signs to tell you what you needed to do. He told me the same thing. You're stubborn. Why to be stubborn? 
I'm stubborn, but I, I could get some really sense in my mind not to slap my dad in the face. That's real. I'm, I, I, I'm stubborn to where I don't listen, but I do got common sense. Like if God came down to me in human form, in which it's 444 on the clock, 1616. If God put me with another hyphen, another spiritual person, right? Let's get down. Because this one that I have is spiritual. He is. He just, he's, he keeps things inside. He, he, he learned things to express in a certain way of impact. See, I'm an empath, white owl. He's an empath, dark empath. Where he views things at night and I view things in the morning. That's the difference. See, when you got two earth angels together, it's more like one is going to be stubborn and the other one is going to be vulnerable. Okay? I'm the vulnerable one. I'm not going to slap God in his face. And that's what I'm not going to do. Because why should I disobey God when I the whole time I've been doing is obeying him? Do y'all know that? Like, I don't know how bad I need to express this to you, Divine Masculine. I don't know how bad that God didn't express this to you plenty of times. See, what you feel is what I feel. When you're down, I'm uplifted. When, when you are stubborn, I'm stubborn and nerve. When you bitter, I get bitterer. When you selfish, I get selfish er. And when you don't give a fuck, so why should I give a fuck? When you didn't never give a fuck about my father, when he gave you the key of life, you overborne his power. He gave you power. Good morning, cowboy. Cowboys nation. Good morning, Grand Rising. I don't know how many times that he, you know, you, I'm very telepathic to you through music and in the dream, in the fifth dimension. But what I feel like that you love me in the fifth dimension, but in, in here in 3D, it's like you, you stubborn little bitch. Just I'll look at you. I can't slap my dad in the face and then be like, oh, well, fuck it. I got to go back to these karmic ways. No, I'm not. I tell God I'm not doing it. If it's we with you or without you, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing it in this century. I'm not doing it in the you know, 22 or century. I did that. I did that all the way back 10 centuries ago. When that was time, when that was. And my answer is to say, fuck no. No is no. God said no. Just understand, when he say no, he mean no. Divine masculine, like, God has been working and working to put this shit together. And you still want to be stubborn. So why not? Everybody's not meant to be on my journey. Everybody's not meant to come with me. Everybody's not meant to be there. Even family and friends. I'm sorry. Because I never ask nobody no help. I don't need it. Because I feel like if I ask somebody for help, I don't think they're going to be doing, oh yeah, you got to pay me back by all the general love that I gave you and all, la, 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 la. I ain't got time for that shit. So I had to do it myself, mommy and daddy. I had to figure out what I needed to do for me and what God had for me, my blessings. You decided to slap God in his face and I didn't. And I, I didn't slap God in his face. I told God, if you don't do but what God asked you to do, personally, in the fifth dimension, I exactly told you that. You didn't fucking listen to me. And I told God, if he does not buy by his rules, I exactly told God this in heaven. If you did not fucking buy by his rules and what he said for me, he said he gonna let your ass go. Then what you do? 
Oh, oh, I want to be with this Carmen. I don't want to be with this girl. She don't know shit about me. But you do. You sat there and you wanted somebody to sit there and say, what's going on? What's popping though? But you sat there. And you lied to the whole world. You lied to your own community. You lied to your family. You lied to your own mama. Your brother, your uncle, your sister, every motherfucking body. But everybody pointed their fingers at me. Like I was the thought about all this shit around here. It wasn't me. It was y'all. Y'all punching y'all own faults. I ain't did shit but stay in my lane and mind my own business like I'm doing now. But I told God that the divine masculine don't get it together. God said he was going to move me himself. And what did God do? He removed me from that bullshit. Now y'all going to eat that shit. The way I ate that shit, I ate that shit good. Y'all gonna eat that shit too. God sat there and repeated himself more than one time, Divine Masculine. You sat there and you told me personally through right there in front of God in Michael the Archangel. You sat there and told him. You sat there and told me that out of your own mouth, your own eyes, your own spirit, your own life, your own soul. You sat there and said that to me and God. You are an abomination to God right now. And, I'm, and God going to come for his visions. He will fight my battles for himself. Before I let another person take the ring off my fucking finger. And that's just on God. That's on his prayer. Because I am his daughter. I am his golden child. I am somebody. You said I was nothing. You told that little bitch that I was nothing. But when she came over to see me, the bitch seen, oh, I like her. I like her. So, but how you like somebody when y'all both try to trash me? Huh? Oh, y'all ain't got nothing to say, but y'all watching stuff from them fake ass accounts. Won't y'all come real? Won't you get behind that motherfucking camera and join this motherfucking schmo? Because when I didn't have nothing, I took that loss. I surely did. I surely did take that loss. God knows my heart. I took that motherfucker loss real good. And I ate the shit out that bitch. And what did God do? He brought me back ten times hard on y'all asses. So why everybody said now I'm acting bitter. I'm acting selfish. Wasn't y'all bitter? Wasn't y'all selfish? Oh, I forgot. Wasn't y'all hateful? Wasn't y'all talking about... Me of a chosen one because of my enlightenment. Oh, yeah. And you was an earth angel, too. Mm. But when I start loving myself, putting me first, ain't nobody else had nothing to say about it. Right? Hmm. Mm -hmm. So y'all just really That's how I always look at people like damn really and be surprised when I told God I surrender. I repented. Because being a temperance angel, that's why balance came in for me. And it came in for you, but you're not balanced.
Why are you so scared to pick up a motherfucking phone? Why are you so scared to just text me? Why are you scared to even just say anything to me? You wanted to be with the third party. You knew that baby wasn't yours. I told you that. I told you that. I told you that from the get, my nigga. I warned it, everybody. I even warned the record label. I warned everybody. Y'all didn't want to listen to me. So what you did? You fell in your own karma. Good morning, Grand Rising. Leaving Divine Masculine. Karma eating his ass up tower after tower. Tower after tower. I had a couple motherfucking towers myself. And I guess what? I took them. And I said, God, please forgive me. Let me try again. Let me do better. Let me do better. Let me let me do better for me. Let me do better. Let me let me open. Let me let me open me. And let me open my heart. Let me look down within myself. First of all, let me look down within me. And y'all look down within you. Y'all cannot resist to know what trauma is. Y'all couldn't resist. Let me go deep inside of me. The bear of my children. The bear of the love that I have. You try to do voodoo on my children, bitch. Let me tell you one thing. My kids are divinely empath angels. They are highly fucking protected. Understand, all nine of mine are all fucking earth angel children. And you're near not to put a hand on my children, bitch. Because one thing that I will do, I'm a mama bear. Me and my children have a good loving blessing relationship and it should stay that way and that shit gonna backfire and I'm calling it in cause you did that when me and this man's child that you fucking did voodoo on and then you wanna talk about me Doing voodoo, baby. I don't do voodoo. I don't do voodoo to voodoo because all that shit is real unnecessary for me. I can sit here and talk to the spirits and, and sit here and, and telepathically talk to the divine. Sit here to go to heaven. I can sit here and talk to my grandmother without anybody or my papa, without anybody coming to me with the bullshit. That's just facts because it's real. And the thing about it, what I don't motherfucking get, y'all judge me because I'm bisexual, because I'm gay. You know, you with your man. Yeah, I'm with my man, but also I'm gay too, bitch. How about that? God is me for who I am. I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm just who I am. I'm Shanti motherfucking Carter. Gucci fucking Carter. Brr! That's what we call me. But this is what I don't get. You slap God in the face. And then you over here telling other tarot that I slapped God in the face. I never slapped my father in the face. Because if I slap God in the face, I'm going to come to him straight up. Straight up with him. Head to head. And I'm going to tell God how I feel. God knows that I'm a good child of his. And he knows I would never betray him. Not because of a man. He knows that not because of an earth. Not because you are earth angel. Not just because you are a fallen angel from heaven. Not because of that. God knows that if he tell me to walk across that fucking water of that ocean, I'm going to walk with God and I'm going to give it to God because I have faith by God and I love God. So I'm going to obey my father in heaven. He gave us 120 commandments. He only barely gave us 10 to obey by his covenant. And our covenant is our temple. Our covenant is our souls. So we gradually have faith. Hmm. You might as well have hope. So I have hope. In my life, I had hope to follow my dreams. I had hope not giving up. And I'm still not giving up. And I'm still rising. 
Cause deep inside of me, you deep inside of me, this fucking lion, this panther, this shepherd, this lamb, this servant of God is more than anything in this world. And it ain't got no goddamn price on it. This love that this man upstairs got for me ain't got no damn price on it. And it's so goddamn beautiful just to even feel the erase of energy inside of my heart. Y'all don't know what faith is. Y'all grasp on bullshit. But it comes along. We come down to this road. We come down to this this life, this revolution, this temptation, the, the inspiration, the motivation, the, 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 the admirer that God, the acknowledgement of Him. No one gave to believe that we exist. Because you know why? Because we've been hiding in the shadows way too fucking long not to afford to exist. We've been hiding way too fucking long. I've been hiding way too long in my spiritual journey. Y'all really thinking that y'all could stop somebody's past? Or their journey or their destiny. You cannot stop no one's destiny. It's meant for them. And them only. Let me say that again. You cannot take no one's destiny away. It's meant for them and them only. You understand? See, y'all like to see monkey and see do. Because y'all, the people, this divine masculine in this karmic, did y'all even realize how many portals y'all open? Did y'all realize how many portals y'all open in the spiritual world and don't have no spiritual attacks? Then you try to mimic an earth angel. Like an earth angel is a monkey. Monkey that mocks another monkey. I'm either war. I have the Holy Spirit. Raise your right hand. Did you love God? I do. I ask God for temptation. I ask God for his love, comfort, blessings, truth, and knowledge, and wisdom to understand as a black woman. I've been through so much in my life. So much. I could bear to see other people go through. You got to understand everybody got flaws everybody has a right and a wrong we're not kids we're grown ups we got choices and if you rely on not making the right choices in life you are gonna make a wrong one God put love every tear that we shed, God kept collecting the cups of my water. I'm gonna show y'all something. Let me show y'all something.
Now. Show y'all something. Every tier, every tier. Now this been up here for almost three months. I'm gonna tell y'all what this is in this cup. These cup was with rainwater. Every tear that I cried was on this rainwater. This is how long I cried, day in, day out. This is centuries of hurt, pain, devotion, cries, until I just stop. Until God says, said, enough is enough. Now, let me give y'all the meaning why I did this. Let me give y'all the meaning why I did that. You want me to tell them why? <laughs> because every tear that I cried, every tear that I shed it, through all the hurt and pain that everybody done, I'm not just saying one, I mean everybody. People that don't even know me wish to down follow me. That's tell the truth. You took my, you stole my money. You took my money. You stole my inheritance. Family hiding it. They know, I already know about the death in the family. I know about the whole scenario that's popping and going on. That's coming to truth. You can't hide it from me no more. Then you got this diesel fuck boy, fuck her. That is a stalker. You obsessed with Gucci Car. Wow, divine masculine. You so obsessed with me, but only which I don't. Y'all ain't the thing about it. I would never get apology. Well, I got apology from him. him. And Carmen, if you wanted to know that you're trying to text me some shit. He already told me what happened. I already know the truth, what happened. He ain't have to tell me shit. Just to let you know, he already messaged me. I know about the truth. I know about what you did. I know about your little, um, my, my fan page that go for me account that you made, all that dating sites on websites. All that extra shit that you was trying to do, use my profile picture for every one of the little things. And then y'all went to the most very vulnerable, highly people to come and search for me and they found me. And y'all described me like I was somebody else that I was not. And end up looking at my ways. And never ever did anything anybody. But y'all used me like I, I was an example of a pawn telling everybody that I was this prostitute. So when other people come up to me, oh, you that prostitute. No, I'm not. Just because a woman likes to, like we don't say nothing when y'all be wearing all that lingerie to y'all concerts, showing y'all ass, doing all that little fake ass shit, all on that shit. Oh, I want to be sexy. But when it comes down to somebody that's in the hood, that's a stripper, that want to show this entertainment to certain men, y'all quit to call them an escort. Y'all quit to call them a hoe. Y'all quit to call them a prostitute. Y'all quit to call them all these motherfucking names. But when it comes down to it, you got plenty of strippers out there right now. You got drag queens that dresses up looking better than some of these hoes. Y'all quit to call them fags. Your bossy boys, y'all quit to call them all these little ratchet ass names. But when it comes down to a female, y'all quit to call us bitches and hoes. Oh, you a thot. Oh, you too ghetto. Oh, you too ratchet. Mmm. You, oh, you this little boy. Baby, we far from that. It's time to grow up. It's time to grow a couple love in, in, in the mind. 
This is where you gotta clear it. It's your mind. You have fucked up. You have fucked up life. Here. Let's get back. The reason why I did that. What else follow? Period. And you know you blindsided. You blindsided. So you blindsided by the things that God don't want you to feel like you blindsided. For what? You cannot trap nobody in no illusions or no confusion. You can't do that, Divine Master. I, what I need you to do is come real with yourself. It's either you're going to take it or you're going to leave it. If you're going to take it, take it. If you're not, at the end of the day, like I said, regardless, I'm, I'm not that type of person that's going to hate on you. And then the thing about it, you know you ain't got no money for me. You got a dollar in your pocket. You see that? I'm the only bitch that's on that horse celebrating my victory. I earned it. What else? See, there's always gonna be a third party. Okay, you're still in the third party. Hey, you still in the third party? Like, how you try to get rid of me? Why can't you get rid of that? It's gonna take you some time, ain't it? Well, guess what? The more time you waste, the more that I move on. The more time that you hold back from me, the more I move on. To something better. And you see that being sneaky and being that fish in that cup, doing all that extra shit? That's not gonna involve no relationship. They're just gonna make that person just walk out on you again. The bitch don't want you anyway. She really just trying to keep you a hold, bro. She really all the reason why that she's like that, so you can have her attention. But knowing your attention is on me. Cherry, somebody is going to move on or somebody is. The cherry also means that somebody is going to jail. Somebody moving on, moving forward. Okay. Somebody taking a moving forward and moving forward. You trying to hop on this chair, you with me. But, it, you know, you thought the grass was green on the other side. The grass was not green on that side. The grass is greener over here. And you fucked up. Can you tell me why this cherry... And this is my thing. I don't even be hating on people. Don't need to. You know? What else, Father? Because you was a fool. And guess what the fool card means? That I will be taking a risk in my own options, not yours. See, wherever God lead me to, that's where I go. And whatever God give me, it's mine. Okay. Stop sending these whack ass illusions. Stop sending these illusions. Because it's not working. These illusions, guys, is not working. There ain't no fucking illusions no more. You got to be trying to gas like somebody. But you show sure is slowing the fuck down for trying to bring me that pinnacle, right? Right? You trying to bring me that pinnacle, right? Mm. It takes y'all about a whole two years just to get me back on the show, right? 
I'm not even worried about bullshit. Y'all just mad because y'all, why she keep getting blessings? Why do y'all keep fucking bothering me? You see this? You just holding on, holding on. You fella realize that God put two earth angels together and you fucked that up. I ain't never lied to you, bro. He never lied to anybody. And I always been motherfucking straight up and honest with people. Fuck, I need to lie. Five of Pentacles, it's in reverse. Okay? Don't get too comfortable where you stand in. Don't get too comfortable. God's telling me, now you don't get comfortable. Don't get too comfortable, Divine Masculine. Because now you're trying to rush in. Some bullshit ass conflict, some competition. And arguments in the secret room, arguments and lie about a child, a child that is not even yours. But you in poverty though, but I'm not, I'm stable. Fuck that conflict with the family, fuck all that. You need to get away from people and clear your fucking mind, man. Fuck out of here. Clear your mind, man. You got too much shit going up up in here. Clear the fuck that out. Because I pick up your scent quick. I can smell you like 10,000 miles away. That's how I know. But you do smell good, though. I got to give you that. And then you want to go get your test results. I found out your test results was what? AIDS and herpes? Mm -mm. You need to go get checked. You need to find a way how to get cured. And God said, I'm telling the motherfucking truth. I'm telling the truth. Okay? I don't got to lie about what I do and what I say in these energies. I'm telling the truth. Okay? That's the motherfucking truth. So you think that you try to come over here, try to come be with me, Trying to pass some deadly disease over to me and knock me up with a baby and thinking that that's cool with me. Nah, bitch, it ain't cool with me. You far, far from that, bitch. And God knows me very well. And there's something that I don't, don't put with me and there's some shit that I just take and I don't have grudges. That's one thing I don't. It don't make me mad. I'm going to just speak how I speak. Wherever it comes from me. But you're not going to come from me, nigga. You ain't going to come from me. You're going to have smoke with God. You're going to deal with him. I'm going I'm to let this is what I'm going to do. Dad, I'm going to let you um, step in on this one. I'm going I'm to let you step in on our children. I'm going to let you step in on the divine masculine. I'm going to let you step in on this whole situation. Everything. The whole situation. I don't even like this energy. I don't even like this energy. I'm, I'm going to let God step in on this one. Because that, that's, what, that's, what, that's what the Holy Spirit does. It, it, it steps in to fight these battles. God, God would protect y'all. Y'all got to give him the benefit of doubt. Let him protect y'all. Let him love y'all unconditionally. Not a condition. Unconditionally. Let God love you. The way he loved me. The same way I'm going to love you. But I can't love people the way I want to love. Because I love myself. I put me first. And a lot of people are like. Oh, um. Oh. They say yesterday, right? I read a couple of people comments yesterday. 
on my Facebook. Why she acting all bougie and shit? Hold on. When I acted bougie, hold on. When y'all acted bougie, it was okay for y'all. But I can't act bougie with my own shit. Everybody thinking I'm stingy. 16, 16 on the clock. I act the way I act because the way y'all act to me is the same way that, like I said, I'm going to give it to God. Let go and let God fight this battle. And he will deal with y'all. Because yesterday I told God out loud, I surrender. The love is card. But you're still looking at me, bro. You're looking right at me. I know. You're looking at the whole site. But you sure do make every move. Because God overfilled my cup with truth, love, and devotion. Love. Y'all see that water? It's overflowing. Next time you try to mess with a real earth angel, just let y'all know what the repercussions behind it. Good morning, Grand Rising. And the thing about this, see this card right here just really ranks. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are used to this. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Now, the reason why I don't like this card, because this nigga know what he's doing. I know that. You like to play with me, bitch. And I call my divine master a bitch for a reason. Cause he knows who he is. This. This. This is what you trying to hold, brother. You trying to hold them coins, huh? Why the... I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, though, I get it though, I get it though, all this shit is behind a girl that fucked your brother, got her pregnant, she pinned the baby on you. You found the chances of the Maury show and, the, and he said you are not the father. I told you that because my children look exactly like you, but they look like me. Everything else about our kids look exactly like you. So why to hold down something when you know what the fuck going on? So you rather just Live two separate lives with two separate women. They don't think the other woman ain't gonna have no subject to say about it. How dumb can a nigga get? So you got two women juggling each other. So I about three on the clock, which in my phone don't never do that. God says Tommy. All right, I got you. You know what eats me up a lot is when you try to play one but couldn't play the other and the other one played you. So the whole time, you, I'm not gonna even go there. I'm not gonna even go there. I'm not gonna even go there. I'm not gonna even go there with you, homie. I'm not gonna go there with you. Because even though 
even though, even though I forgave each and every one of y'all motherfuckers, I'ma step on your bitch ass neck. Period. I'ma step on your motherfucking neck. Why, 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 why can't me and God step on y'all neck? We gon' step on your shit. Period. Re reciliation? Illumination, pro procrastination. You need to transform your motherfucking mind. Turn off that bullshit ass player move. Turn that switch off. Rethink of your mind. Refocus this. This is what I fell in love with. It was your motherfucking mind. I didn't give a fuck about your reputation, your platform. How famous can I get? What the fuck about being famous, bro? It's about you had a good woman and you lost that good woman because you wanted to decide to stick your dick in a whole motherfucking complete karmic ass bitch that never gave a fuck and try to be fucked. You would never find a good woman like me. You would never find a woman that would have any flaws as like me. You would never find a good woman that, that you could, could try to compare, but you would never find a woman like me, ever. You would find nothing but shit. To me, you slapped my father in the face because you wanted to decide that you wanted to go, you know what? The devil is a lie. That devil is a lie. Because what he took from you was something that was important in your life. And you fucked that up by wanting to go fuck another karma. But you get mad because I'm happy with somebody else and it ain't gotta be a man I can be happy with myself for my own growth my own value the shit that I went through by myself did I ask for your help? no only help that I asked for is God can you help me? God can you please help me? you know I cried for 40 days over this man 40 fucking days in depression I sat there and you know it's my fault because I kept letting you cheat okay that was my bad that I kept doing it running back to you running back to you every single time and what you do I end up with a baby or I get gaslighted. But this time it was just like, fuck no. I'm putting my feet down for once. As being a mother, a baby mama, and an ex-wife. You lied to me. You grasply lied to the world. You lied to the world about everything. You told everybody that you didn't like me. Everybody, every fucking body. I mean, publicly, everybody. He didn't have to cheat. That was the choice that he made for himself. I didn't tell him to go fuck another bitch. He decided to go fuck another bitch. Now I end up with A's and herpes. Come on. Think about it. Think about it, homie. But you mad because another man swept me off my feet. Now you want to come back in my life because trying to disturb my happy home. <laughs> Let me go within myself. You made a GoFundMe page about me. Y'all got paid off of me. Practically. 
These people, divine masculine, got paid off of me, bitch. But you want me to sit here? But why is this bitch still coming for me? That's why I need to know. That's how I feel. She trying to figure out what if you talk to me. Yeah, bitch, he did. That is my baby daddy too. He telling you one thing but telling me the other. But you think that I'm about to put up with his mess after y'all two done done some destructive ass shit? As you try to make me a monkey that mocks. You would never be like me. None of y'all hoes would never be me. He pimped y'all. He pimped y'all. He ain't pimp me. He couldn't fool me for shit. But you want to re-come back in my life for what? How you going to get mad at somebody when you ain't never put no bread in nobody's pocket? But I gave you my last. $20 on my back, bitch. I gave people a pair of shoes. I gave you the shirt off your motherfucking back. Please tell me again. I gave you niggas ain't real out here, dog. I'm too real for you, bitch. I'm too real for you, dog. I'm just too real. I'm too real for this shit, y'all. Now I gotta see here and tell everybody the real truth about what happened. You don't think that hurts people to juggle black women and then you get these other men a day or a time that really want to love them, a good woman and you fuck it up for them. That's sad. There's sometimes you got to look at life a whole different perspective. Because I'm not going to shed a tear. Because that's my pain. I'm going to put that in peace. That's how strong I am. That's how brave I am. You thought that you broke me? Y'all didn't break shit. I ate that shit. Now I'm throwing pressure back on y'all necks. Because what you put me through trauma... And what you put me and my kids through, bitch, you gonna lay in that shit. You gonna lay in that shit. Like, I ate that shit. I ate that shit like you were nothing. But you gonna lay in that shit. And I mean that. Any woman you ever motherfucking date, well, you will never find a real one like me. Ever again. And you best believe that. You told lies. Fimilent lies. About me. And my God. God said, what you say about my baby? And then you. Mm, oh no. I don't get you. Then, but you have a reason to be upset with me and watching me every motherfucking move. I don't get that. That I don't. Look, man. You know, there's some reasons why I told people that my papa came to me. My granddaddy came to me. And my Aunt Jack. You called my great, 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 great grandmother to come and help you fix your childhood wounds. Why are you conjuring up and by ancestors? To come to you when my ancestors trying to help. <laughs> Do you just know what you just opened up? You opened up my family tribe to get on your ass. 
And even my grandma said we was trying to help him. But I had my grandma even said that she even my I'm telling y'all, dog, my granddaddy them strong as fuck right now. Cause my granddaddy want me to tell y'all. It's like you called up all my family from the dead. You did. You even called my father from the dead, bitch. You don't do shit like that. Do graveyard magic. Which death on me? Why is this bitch still alive, bitch? I'm still alive because God said I was alive. Y'all did insurance fraud on my name said I was dead. So did y'all do that one on Greg too? Huh? Did y'all do some checks on Greg said he was dead? Did y'all? Y'all didn't. Because y'all knew that I was going to say something. Y'all put fake ass. Y'all must did that to a lot of people. Family. To get that cash money. Then, I don't, I don't understand. This is one part I don't understand about certain people. You conquered up all this mess. And then you want somebody to deal with this burden. No. No. King of Swords. But now you want to act all mature and shit. Now you trying to do what? Why are you trying to act mature and shit? Yeah, we know. Because, because the Queen of Swords is out. Look, the King and Queen of Swords is out. Because this couple is at Ten of Pentacles. Mm, right though. See, the reason why I was at Nine of Swords, because, no, the reason why I was at Nine of Swords, because I took, I threw two swords away, and I walked away from Seven of Swords, and came back to Ten of Swords. That was a betrayal, dog. I took every one of the motherfucking swords out my bag to came back to a Ten of Pentacles on y'all asses. And the reason why I say I took that loss, I took that loss for a reason. Why not? Why not to take a loss? Everybody can't win all the time. Everybody got to lose sometimes. I took that motherfucking loss. I took a loss on my house, cars. I took I took a loss on my relationship. I took a loss on a man that I truly did love. I, 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 lost, I, I took a loss on a lot of things. But one thing I never took a loss on was my children. That was something I kept sacred like this to them. I lost everything in my life. Family, friends, everything. Behind you. Behind this punk ass nigga. Because he was trying to break on me, bitch. That's how I feel. You try to break on me, bro. I want a better fucking offer. I want on bullshit bread car. Oh, we need to split it with three people. Fuck three people. I'm not mad. I'm just speaking facts. Queen of Wands. The world card. This is the world card. Karmic cycles is ending. Now, this Queen of Cups, how the way y'all did me? That's not fair. And it ain't fair to God. So God is gonna give me plenty and more, plenty and plenty, plenty, plenty. Them cycles in it. It's time for new beginnings, new life, a new start.
It's a tragedy though. But you get mad at me about something that I, I, I did. What did I do to you? I walked away from that ass because it wasn't no perfect for even me being with you. Just because you are in the industry, just because you have a reputation, just because you're famous, just because you have all this, you had a good woman that was going to worship you and then love you as a person. Who gives a fuck about a camera being in the bitch face? It, it's in my face all day. And what I do got to see here? Smile. But you know, in the inside of me, I feel more beautiful. I'm healed from it. I'm healed from this shit. So next time you want to go out and tell social media, and you want to feel like you could go out on TikTok and, and YouTube and, and go to Twitter and Instagram and all these platforms that I have, next time if you want to talk shit about me, talk some facts about me first of all. Because I can hit up everybody with all these motherfucking text messages that you gave me. Begging me back. Please, baby. Please come back to me. I'm miserable without you. I need you. I don't love her. I want to be with her. I want to be with you, baby, because you're the only thing that makes me happy. You're the only thing that makes me feel motivated. You're the only thing that I want. I need. I need. I need. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. But you didn't pick me. You picked her. So what did I do? I stood in my palace. I stood in my growth. I said, man, fuck that nigga. I know my value and I know what my worth. So when I'm silent, you better run because I'm a dangerous person to be around. I don't get mad. What, what not to? You thought that you played a fool, you played yourself. You, 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 you knew that bitch was out there doing all that whole shit. You and your motherfucking sister and your aunt and your cousin. And y'all went to my, my aunt and my, and then think about it, y'all can hate all motherfucking that bitch because you ain't doing nothing for me that I ain't gonna do for y'all. Y'all ain't gonna do shit to me. Y'all better not touch me. Y'all ain't gonna do none of that because y'all already know how I beat your motherfucking ass. Bitch, you already know I ain't no scary bitch in my blood. Never will, never be. That nigga already know. You will get your ass beat up again by me. And I will beat your ass this time, homie. So y'all really think this nigga got the power to do anything but being a whole ass cheater, a whole ass nigga, just because you got this, but you still over here asking me for money. How you asking me for money, but you're a rich man? Come again. Oh. I love that shit, that gangsta shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gangsta Gucci, Gucci gang. Burp in this bitch. So why, nigga? This I don't understand. Why to be a weak nigga? And knowing that you got caught up, bitch, in your own situation, but you wanna throw gas at me. But now I'm throwing gas back at you. I guess so. But it's not about me judging you. I never judged you. I accept you being bisexual. Because if you liked it, ugh, we ain't gonna even go there. I'm just gonna keep it real. If you like it to have sex with men and you nearly like women, then why the fuck did I have kids by you? If you liked it, men. But with me, it's different because I'm bisexual. You bisexual. LBGT. LBGT. You're, you're gay, nigga. If a nigga... Look. I'm going to get mumbled. This Queen of Cups, she gonna get her honor. 
I don't care. The sun card is out. I am the sun. The sun card is out. Hey man, your ass. It's a hey man, man. I don't think I gotta say. I'm not here to judge you, bro. I'm not here to. I'm not here to discuss your sexuality. Because all I know, I know my truth with you, and you couldn't take that from me. I accepted your flosses. I'm near to judge you, and I told you that when we met at Starbucks. I exactly told your ass that when I had the Honda. You said, "Baby, can I go with you?" I said. Yeah, let's go pop up over here. You took me to the house. We had everything. We had fucking everything. If you didn't like women, I don't think you had to tell me, look, I'm bisexual. Look, I'm heterosexual. Look, I'm gay. Look, will you accept me for what I am? You didn't do that. You had to hide the shit. I already knew the way you walked. I already knew that you was gay. That's why I was like, damn, okay. Well, I can have fun both ways. You know, when we met, when me and you met, it was like, it was real good. He knew I had my shit together. He knew that I was on this good note. Hey, y'all. He knew this, y'all. He knew, he knew I had my shit together. Every single time this man see me, I had my shit together. Ain't never asking him for nothing. He can tell you that. Here comes Lama. But you dare to tell our children. You will dare to tell our children lies. Lies. You couldn't accept me just because you gay? <sighs> Baby, I've been with plenty of gay men in my life. I just sat there was in a relationship with a gay man. And I still had fun with him. And we still did what we did as grown-ups. And he never kept nothing from me. And one thing that he always did for me, he always used protection on me. And the thing about it, you sat here and told everybody, you look on Pornhub right now, you're fucking a man. They put you on Pornhub. But you got mad because I was a porn star before? Baby, whatever I do on my time ain't nobody's business. It wasn't even your business. It wasn't nobody's business. I've been there and done that a long time ago. That was like years, 10 years, maybe five or six years ago. When I was going through something. When I was going through her. When I was going through trauma, childhood wound, I had to deal with that all by myself. I never asked you to say, hey baby, let me, let me, let me talk to you. You couldn't even talk to me. You couldn't even be vulnerable. You couldn't even do none of that. But you put our kids through this bullshit. And you got these people over here trying to say, oh, I'm about to see what she, I was never mad at anybody. I was never was. I wasn't even mad at you. Only thing that I got mad is you kept it a secret. You kept a secret in the family room. And you knew your uncle was fucked 
fucking your fucking sister and you knew your fucking aunt was fucking your brother and you knew the bitch that you was with she was fucking other niggas inside your mansion at your house you knew that shit you knew that bitch was up to no good when your brother got locked up you knew that that bitch was no good but everybody, but I warned everybody. I, I, I warned, I warned everybody. I warned every fucking body. And no one gave me credit. No one didn't want to hear my truth. No one wanted to sit there and hear what the fuck, everybody wanted to hear what the fuck he had to say about me. But when I come out with my truth, nobody didn't want to motherfucking hear me what the fuck I had to say. The whole family was incensed. They were fucking each other. And then the brother, the brother, that, like me and the brother were cool. Everybody was cool. Everybody was fucking cool. Except this little bitch. The reason why I left my divine masculine, because I caught my divine masculine cheating on me with a whole motherfucking teenage bitch. The girl was, okay, this was the thing about it. You're an age, around the age I am. He wanted his dick wet. He didn't even ask the girl. He thought the girl was 21. The girl ended up being 14 years old. 14. A fucking minor. And I asked you repeatedly. Did you fuck that girl? You end up having one night stand with that bitch. She fucked your brother. Then she fucked you. And then I ain't got no reason to say nothing about my children that's living with your punk ass. Come on, man. You trying to make my daughter and them go against me. How fucked up that is. How you gonna put my children against me, the mother, the mama bear? How you gonna do that, knowing that my me and my children is everything? Me and my children are always gonna be locked, twisted in every good relationship. Just because in the time, in the moment, when you committed that vow, you broke that promise on your own. I didn't tell you to stick your dick in that girl. I didn't tell you to go cheat. You chose to go cheat on me. And then you don't want me to come back. You want me to come back. Give your ass a second chance. After you you and your family did what they did and said what they said about me. Judge me by the book about my cover. Because these two fat bitch bitches want to say shit about me and couldn't say shit about me. That's the truth. They were hating on me. Because I'm making my money. I'm making my bags. I own a fucking company. They were hating on me. And you know your fucking wife was hating on me too, bitch. Because you was with a fucking millionaire. And I don't care. I never care. I never cared about none of your bullshit that you're dealing with right now. Your karma is what your karma is. I sat there and I prayed to God every single night, y'all. I prayed to him like, yo, God, what am I supposed to do in this situation? I'm not telling y'all, no, I'm telling y'all like, the real true story. Y'all see this light? Because I'm telling y'all the truth. I didn't sit here and, 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 and cry my fucking head out day and night, worrying. After my father died, bitch, I worried. I worried about my dad. But I know my dad is in a better place. I know that for sure. I know that for sure. Because I speak to my daddy. It's spirit. Anytime I need to talk to him, he's there for me. Like half of you motherfuckers never there for me. This nigga get mad at me yesterday. I've been planning this wild and out trip for two months. This wild and out concert that we went to yesterday. 
I've been planning for this shit to go. I've been planning this. You got mad. Block me. And tell me. Something. When I've been fucking on one thing only. You walking around here. Gaslighting bitches. Fucking other bitches. That's why y'all can't make no money. That's why y'all can't do shit. That's why y'all can't do nothing. Anything that I have in my motherfucking name. You knew that bitch was false. That bitch was trying to be me. That's why y'all make them fake ass death insurance checks fraud. The PB loans, you go in the gym. Then you had to hire an investigator. See, the FBI is on my side. The investigators on my side. So why would you think that I'm going to sit around here and tell them sit on a lie? These people sat here and said that I was there at that moment. I was not there. I've been at home or at work or running my companies all fucking day. I never was there. Won't you tell them about that little murder y'all hired? Y'all killed three people. Won't you tell them that? Since you want to keep running back to me, bitch. That's sad. When your own fucking baby mama know the whole motherfucking truth. And I could be sitting here all day at home doing what the fuck I do. Doing terror. This is what the energy's telling me. So when you have broken love, you have broken love. Y'all robbed me. Y'all took my money with my motherfucking name on it, bitch. And he knew. That motherfucker knew. Y'all gonna pay me all my money back, ho. I don't give a fuck. And God said that's the honest motherfucking truth. God said that's the truth. You see that coin? That coin coming back to me. This man sat here and did me dirty, y'all. He didn't want to say I'm sorry. Didn't want to say, I'm sorry, I apologize, please forgive me. I gave, forgave y'all a long time ago. I'm not about to carry y'all burdens on me. I'm not about to do that. That's not my way to carry. That's not my way to carry all y'all emotions, y'all energies. I have my own emotions. I'm dealing with my own fucking shit. I'm healed from all this bullshit. Then y'all want to read me up, email. Hey, this is important. Is this Gucci? Can I get hold to you? Why y'all need to get hold of me? Yeah, something about my dad, ain't it? Huh? Your lawyer. Y'all, y'all didn't tell that lawyer where I was at. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I live in the fucking Atlanta, Georgia. And I even told y'all, they signed my names on documents that was not even their position to sign their names on them goddamn documents. So without me, y'all ain't getting shit. And he knows that. This man in here, this man that I'm with took care of me. He gave me all my flaws and everything I need. He loved me. He didn't give up on me like you did, homie. And I respect that man for that. He didn't use me for my money. He didn't use me for my heart or my mind, body, or soul. Guess what I did? I gave him a part of me. And that part of me gonna stay there with him. Everybody don't like to see other people happy. But guess what? The truth is out now, dog. So you can lie to everybody all you want to, but my truth is my truth. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell my truth of my story. You sat there and, and humiliated yourself in front of the world. You sat there and lied to me. You sat there and broke each and everybody heart that was around you. There are even close people that died. That what y'all did, voodoo to hoodoo, doing spell work that you didn't know what you were doing. And then the thing about it, you asked your mom to help you and guide you through this. And she was supposed to be the one that helped you with through all this shit. And then she had a problem with me. What the fuck your problem is with me?
I never had a problem with your mother. Your mother had a problem with me because the way I speak my mind, because I'm into intuition. I'm very intuitive. I'm because I use my brain, because I use my mouthpiece, because I make the right choices for me and my family to live and, 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 and break generation curses. That's what I did. I gave God my life. And it's going to stay that way, homie. And it's sad for y'all to hear that it is embarrassing. But the thing about me, I didn't want to get embarrassed. But you embarrass yourself. You embarrass your family. You embarrass your children. You embarrass your own bloodline. That's why your ancestors ain't even fucking with you. My ancestors are fucking with me. Because they knew I could handle this shit. And I handled it right. I ate that shit. And I let go. And I said, God, I surrender. I let it go. So if I let something go, it ain't bother me. But God says you still got to tell your story. You still got to tell your truth. You still got to go and do these things for you to overcome your, 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 your lessons to overcome, to learn from them. I would never want no woman to ever go through what I went through or ever feel this way what I've been through. I will never let a woman go through the hurt, pain, and the struggles and, and, and be forbidden from a man that who never gave a shit about me, you fucking narcissist. And never be in this illusion. You thought you could love bomb me, bitch? And still lie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly. You cannot do that. You can't love bomb nobody. You can love bomb yourself and that karmic you laid up with. The little young bitch. Period. Period. You knew that little girl was that young. Oh, I want to take her out to the day. I want to take her out to the movies. The fuck you need to take a young girl out to the movies? And knowing that you have a 14-year-old daughter by me. You dummy. And you gonna get another tower. You gonna get that next tower, homie. You been defeated. You been defeated. You will never walk away. Just walk away from this, this century. Walk away from this universe. Walk away from this planet. Because where God got me at right now, huh? It may be lonely up at the top, but I'd rather be lonely to deal with fucking menish people and dwelling on bullshit people like you. At all. You think that people are gonna be coming around here and thinking that you this 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 guy? You ain't no fucking body. You ain't shit. You won't do shit that I can't do for myself. But you want to stand around here and fuck 14 year olds. Exactly my point. It's about a child. And, and that child didn't ask to come in this world without a mother or a father. I get that. 16, 17 on the clock. That child didn't ask to come in this world the way that it's supposed to. That child should have been loved. Let's be a little comfort with that shit. It said that you 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 can't get over me. But the bitch don't even know me. But you know me. But she don't. You will never, you will never ever get a good thing like this again. I'll be weird to go back to bullshit. You will never juggle me again. You will never lie to another woman again. You will learn your lesson. Stick your dick in somebody else. Next time you stick your dick in somebody else, I'm going to make sure I put it in your mouth so you can stroke it. You're going to eat that dick. Fuck you talking about. Because the will of fortune is in my hands. Because guess what? I am a star. I am who I am.
and I will come to calmer waters. And then that's where I'm at, calmer waters. And guess what? I'd rather go with this King of Cups before I ever go with your ass. And I will be looking at my coins carefully. You are sabotaging your own life. So you got me stuck in your head through the past from now on. Okay? And that's what God said. Because God want me happy at my ten of pentacles with both of my children and a happy husband, a happy wife. It's a happy home. You will be carrying all these burdens. You will be carrying your own weight. I'm not carrying your weight this time. And it's a done deal. I'm not carrying this weight anymore. I bear to my soul not to carry your bullshit weight if I'm asking. You had all these other women looking at me like I'm the one, pick me, pick me. They will never meet you or me where I'm at, ever. That's not pick me, pick me, bitch. It's picking me only. So, gotta walk away. It's the best thing you to do in your life. Walk away. And let God see you through the half moon in the sun. Walk away. Exactly what I did. And then, by the way, the next time Pisces, you feel like that you want to do motherfucking voodoo on me, my children, and my family, that's a judgment card. And God is calling that in too. And that's 80 times told your punishment of karma. It's going to hit you back and it's going to backfire. Okay? And I call my energy and I call all my powers back from each and every one of these people to whoever done anything towards negative towards me. I call all my shit back, all my power, all my energy. Anything that you got from me will be crossed off, cut off. Because I'm like, guess what? We're going to heal from this. We're going to heal from this. We're going to heal all from you. I forgave you. I let go. But I'm going to tell my truth. And that's why I'm going to get justice. I'm going to get justice. Okay? Just so be it. Your cloth is off. Your cloth is off. You're in despair. You are in despair, sir. God's seen it all. It's okay. Don't be scared. Open up. You dead ass sick. Open your mouth. You may get fed. Cause you shut it. You ain't gonna get nothing. There ain't no more, more black magic. It's in reverse. And when I say there's no more black magic, it's nothing working. So stop trying, bitches. And God said, I'm telling the motherfucking truth. You understand? Ace of Wands. And your dick ain't that good just to be trying to go around fucking everybody else, homeboy. Period. But I'm telling you the truth. You will have a death. Death card. There's a death in your family. It's, it's happening. And you also, this card, death card also means that you need to reconnect with yourself. You need to rebirth yourself. You need to work on yourself. You need to encourage yourself. You need to get it. You need to take yourself, put yourself back in hermit mode, ground yourself, and think about what the things that you've done to people. Okay? Period. You discussed it. No, we're not talking about R. Kelly. He done some real deep shit. I don't even want I don't even want that man energy. You know exactly who we talking about? We're talking about Yellow Beezy. That's what we talking about. And we were talking about Kevin Gates too.
Anything else? Okay, in this message. Okay, God said we're gonna end this message. So you got your rundown. So everybody know the truth. Everybody hear the truth. Everybody knows the truth. I ain't gotta lie about the truth. Cause I can pop out with them DMs quickly to know the truth. Period. So don't come for me. Come for yourself. And guess what? I forgave Yellow Beezy, I did. I did, and I left it alone. We had our parts to say, we left it alone, and we're moving forward. So now, do you wanna know why? Okay? You wanted to know the truth? Karmic, there's your truth. So stay the fuck off of my page and stop worrying about what the fuck my baby father doing with me. Don't worry about that. Both of them. Don't fucking worry about it. Let me deal with them on my case. Not yours, bitch. And it ain't your business. It's mine. So, y'all want to know the truth? That's the fucking truth. How about that? Put that shit viral. Call it a day. Adios, amigos. Peace out, live at three, bitch. Bye. Blur.